Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and this is the third version of the Random Tips Slash Hint GUI. So let's just get right into it. So go to the View tab and open up Explore and Properties. After that, go into the Explore, go under the Starter GUI, click the plus, and enter in a Screen GUI. Under the Screen GUI, click the plus, and enter in a Text Label. So this label is going to be your tip slash hint. So just put it where you want your tip slash hint to be. For example, if I want to be at the top of the screen, I'll put it at the top. If I want to be at the bottom of the screen, I'll put it at the bottom. So I'll put mine at the bottom like this. And then I'll also just make the size increase and I'll put it in the middle. So after you got your size and where you want it to be, go into the properties and here you can change how it looks. For example, you can change the background color by clicking on the background color and then selecting one of the colors. And there we go, we changed the background color. So yeah, you can play around with the settings and how your text label looks. And one more important thing is that if you want the text to match the label, go under the text and under the text scale, just click the check mark and the text will be scaled with the size of your label. So once you're done with your text label and you're happy with it, go under the text label, click the plus and enter in a local script. So here is a script and you can write what I write. So local tips equals to, and then put in a table, and then go down the line. And so this is going to be our table. So for each tip, put in little quotation marks, and then write your tip. For example, you can write like, did you know that? And then insert fun fact. Like, yeah, so you can just write in all your tips. And then for each one after that, put a comma and then go down the line and then do the exact same thing so after you got all your tips uh, make sure that there isn't a comma behind the last one because we don't need it so your tips uh, table should look something like this and you can add more or less tips just make sure every time you add more you put a comma and on the last one you just remove the comma so next thing you can do is actually make the random tip so while task dot wait and then this is how many seconds you want before it rotates to the next tip so we'll do it as 10 seconds and then do and then go down the line and then write local text label equals to script dot parent and then go down the line and write local random tip equals to math dot random and then one and then comma and then the second number, you want to write how many tips you have. So here we have four tips. One, two, three, four. So the second number, we're going to write four. So after that, go down the line and then write if random tip equals equals to one, then go down the line and then write text label dot text equals to and then write tips and then put in square brackets and then one. So what this does is basically every 10 seconds, it chooses a random number between 1 and 4. And if the random number is 1, then it will display the first tip inside our table. So what you can do is copy and paste these three lines of code and paste it for each one you have. So I have 4, so I need 4 of these in total, just like this. So we have 4 if statements. And then make sure that each one, you change the numbers. So 2 and then three and then finally we have four so this one is the first tip this is the second tip third tip and this one is the fourth tip so this should be the entire script and uh, you should be done you can go test it out if you want however I will show you something that you can uh, add to make it a little bit better if you want this is optional so after the equal sign you can put quotation marks and then depending if your thing is a tip or hint, you can write tip and then colon and then behind the quotation marks, just put two dots. So if it's a tip, you can do this and if it's, and if it's a hint, you write hint and if you want after the colon, you can put in a space and you can do that for all the tips and just like that. So now let's go test it out. So here I am inside the game. So this is our random tip slash hint label. So right now it says label, but after a few seconds, it will turn into a random tip. There you go. So tip, welcome to my game. And because in the script, we set it to rotate every 10 seconds. 
um, it's going to choose another tip in a few seconds unless it chooses the same tip then obviously it's not going to change and there you go as you can see that the tip changes every 10 seconds so yeah that will be it for this tutorial if it helped make sure to like comment subscribe and share and um, I actually don't know what to do for 2,000 subscribers so if you want you can comment that down below and um, I, I might do it but until then I'll see you guys next time bye